audience. So I don't sing my own songs very much anymore. Um, I'm not sure why, but we all have different things that we do at different times in our life. <coughs> but this is a song I wrote here uh, way back in 2008. And uh, that was, uh, no, it was actually 2007. Yeah, I was here as an artist in residence for a, a small uh, documentary film company called Barefoot Workshops. And they tell local stories. So people come in from all over the world to learn about how to use the camera and use the uh, Microsoft Pro or Micro Pro or whatever the thing is they do on Apple uh, uh, to make films. And uh, I didn't want to do any of that, I just wanted to write songs. And so they said, oh, well, you can come along then. And I did, and I wrote a couple of songs while I was here. This is a, a story that was told to me by a fellow, a local farmer, whose father was a bad man. And uh, Mr. Floyd's father was pretty tough on Mr. Floyd. And Mr. Floyd's son is a better man, and hopefully, Mr. Floyd's grandchildren will be better than them. So this is an area that's had lots of good and lots of bad. This is a song called Silver Dollars, and it was uh, a story Mr. Floyd told me in one of his fields. Thank you. 
And these are songs written for other people, for other reasons, and uh, it was one of the reasons I decided that it was a great place to come and live. So, you know, I met my uh, wife through all of that as well. Um, it's a beautiful place to come to, but we like to do more than visit. So hopefully if you're visiting, if you drink some of the local water, you might end up coming back more often. You know, look what happens. <laughs> um, this is a song... The first person we met in uh, Clarksdale was George Messenger and uh, his family ran jig joints before him and his father's father ran jig joints before him. So he knew quite a lot about the blues, <coughs> did George Messenger. And George and Myr Myrtle cooked us an evening meal and then he told us that the blues was dead. And I didn't believe him. <laughs> I thought it was very much alive, but he told me that there's a difference, that the blues that's out here now is it's not about what was what was past. <coughs> that past can never be again. And that was the blues he was talking about, the families losing their loved ones on the selling block of a slave situation. There's so many things that he brought up as that those blues will, will never be, those times will never be again. So I believed him by the time we ended our dinner and our discussion. And the song came from that too. Yeah. George Messenger, George and Myrtle, they're both dead now, but they, they're, I think their hall is open as part of this uh, juke joint. Uh, it's one of the special places. Messenger's Pool Hall, it's called. And run by the same family since I think the 1800s, late 1800s. Up until this is uh, been told by the Messenger, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've been told by the messenger I've been told by the messenger I've been told by the messenger That the blues is dead The good news is dead If the South had won Then the blues would be here Confederate flag embracing Flowers wilt on an old man's grave. The new South view is what I pray. I've been told by the messenger. I've been told by the messenger. I've been told by the messenger. I can 
sake with conviction more than history show I saw my eyes and my feet in black set of laws, we were de facto relationship. He was my de facto. That's my de facto. And the de facto is the same as being married, but unlike common law here, you're actually, you have uh, the rights and responsibilities of being married, but um, you just don't have the judicial piece of paper. Piece of paper. But I tell you what, that won't do in Mississippi. We got that paper now. <laughs> we got that paper. <laughs> We, we, we found that we've moved to a culture that it sort of doesn't require it, but that um, uh, sees it as something uh, worthwhile. And I'd never been married in my life. I've had quite a few adventures, but not been married. So this is another adventure. So we are five years married and five years de facto uh, this March. So we are 10 years. Ten years. So, yeah. Yay. We celebrate 10 years in the Yeah, we celebrate. This is an old uh, song that I learned. I learned most of what I know off an old Ry Cuda record. And uh, I was about 14 and uh, I joined something called the Australian Record Club. And you bought six records for six dollars and you promised to buy another six or 12 for the rest of the year. And I was very lucky in my first choices because I had a Muddy Waters album, I had a Ry Cuda album. Uh, the others may be Rolling Stones and, and the rest of it I didn't care about. But certainly Ry Cuda and Muddy Waters had led me here in a long roundabout journey. So I thank the Australian Record Club. And on that record was a song called Billy the Kid, which I love old westerns. <coughs> it was a story of one of your people, you know? <laughs> you know, like how in Australia there are all those colonials that have sent down there in the penal colonies. And yeah, well, you had a few yourselves. Um, and uh, one of them was Billy the Kid.
Ward and Billy the Kid was a very young man in no silver city. He went to the bay way out west with a knife in his hand. By the age of twelve years, he killed his first man. Fair Mexican ladies play guitars and sing songs about Billy, the boy bandit king. Before this young man had reached his setting, he'd notch on his pistol for twenty-one. It was on one black night that poor Billy died. He said to his friends, I'm not satisfied. There's plenty of men that I put in the last through and sure Pat Garrett is gonna make 22. Well, this is how Billy the kid met his fate The big moon was shining The hour it was late Shot down by Packer Silver City's best friend This poor outlaw's life Don't reach the sad end Song, but right through to brought it to life for me. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. There's a lot of the, the American culture, of course, is brought to life by people from 10,000 miles from anywhere near here. It's spread from this tiny little part of the world everywhere. Amazing. Would you like to do uh, another one to say it right? Orchid deer? Yeah, you've got to be careful. Be very careful. Be very careful. Enunciation. Enunciation is everything we've learned. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. This is a, a little folk tune. A yeah. folk tune, I know. Um, I started playing with Dulcimer by learning in workshops where you'd all sit in a circle and, and play off a pad, you know, and, um, not musical notation, but numbers on lines. And um, so. I learned from a tad in workshops for years until, until I met Adrian. Then I started playing all over the place because he doesn't read or write music. Um, he writes songs, but he doesn't read notation or tad or anything like that. So now I just try to wing it as best I can. <laughs> but I um, learned this one off tad. I think I could be called Mr. Wing, couldn't I? Wing. Yeah. He's a wingman. I mean. <laughs>
anybody that's arrived um, hungry or thirsty, there's something to eat, something to drink on the table there. You're welcome to help yourselves. No it's hard to know because, you know, you can walk into a juke joint in Clarksdale and they've got one type of beer and that's it, you know. And, and you arrive hungry and five hours later you leave and you think, oh, it would have been great to eat, but no, it doesn't matter. And then other places that have got lots but you just never know before you walk in. So, but I think the town is venue rich. It has so many wonderful places to hear music. Listen to music, work, uh, dance, everything. Buffalo gals, won't you come out tonight? Come out tonight, come out tonight. Buffalo gals, won't you come out tonight? Dance by the fire. We'll dance with the girl with the board on her chin, toast turned out and the feet turned in. Pretty good cow for the shape she's in, dance by the light of the moon. Buffalo cows, won't you come out tonight? Come out tonight, come out tonight. Buffalo cows, won't you come out tonight? Dance by the light of the moon. Well, we'll dance with the girl with the water on her chin and the toast. Out and a feet turned in, pretty good gal for the shape she's in. Dance by the light of the moon. Buffalo gals, won't you come out tonight? Come out tonight, come out tonight. Buffalo gals, won't you come out tonight? Dance by the light of the moon. With the girl with the hole in the stocking and a feet hip to knock him till the hole in the stocking. Dance with the girl with the hole in the stocking and we dance by the light of the moon. Buffalo gals, won't you come out tonight? Come out tonight, come out tonight. Buffalo gals, won't you come out tonight? Dance by the light of the moon. take a short break because you know we're a reunion home, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> Feel free to talk amongst yourselves, stay, go to the next one, have cookies. Ah, by the way, Carla's made a beautiful cookie.